This is the first time we've done baptisms here in Bay City because we're brand new here. It's my buddy Matthew. Matthew, you want to introduce yourself real quick? Hello, Matthew. Matthew. Bay City. Bay City. We got people from Bay City here. Woo! And Matthew, uh, share with us a little bit of your journey. What was life like before God entered the picture? I've been blessed, man. My family brought me up, you know, in in the church. Um, so God has always been part of my life. That's that's awesome. Be for and uh, you have an amazing accent. So where are you from? Are you from Cairo? <laughs> how did you um, how did you end up here at Life Church then? Uh, well, I heard your sweet voice on the radio a yeah. while ago. Yeah. And uh, my wife and I have been looking for a church to come to for a long time, and uh, nothing else before ever really fit for us. And wow. Just came here, and you know, as you talk about, you, you, it's exactly what I believe in that you strip away all the stuff and you get to the, the meat the and potatoes. Of yep. Well, Matthew, based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Congratulations! My name is Sarah, I'm from Bay City. And you're Matthew's wife. I'm Matthew's wife, yes. And give us a snapshot of your journey, of your faith story. Um, so, um, when I was 13, um, my mother was murdered, and I had a lot of negative feelings for towards God and wondering why he would do that or take her from me um, and my family and it's been over um, 20 years and through those years I've learned that he is very much present and has a plan for everything and during some of the most difficult times of my life after that he always seemed to present better things in my life and um, my husband being one of them um, he was actually his plane landed in the United States the day I was burying my mother he's from England if you can't hear that um, and then just a series of events after that um, you know the birth of my daughter I was told I I had a rare infertility infer and was going to have problems conceiving. Um, I, I found out I was pregnant with her uh, day or years to the day um, my mom was murdered. I found out I was pregnant for her. And then just a series of other things. That my three other children that have come into our life over the past year and a half um, that have blessed us and we hope that we'll be able to formally adopt here in the pre next year and uh, so yeah God's great and we're wow. just it took me a while to feel it and see it and, wow. but here I am is, is it okay if I ask you a couple questions sure. mm -hmm. first you're incredibly brave thank you um, and my heart goes out to you. Thank you there there are people even here today that are walking through infertility walking through loss, the loss of a loved one, the loss of a mother. How has God walked through that with you? Or what, what is your faith? Like, un, can you just unpack that a little bit more of, to encourage others? Yeah, uh, I just, I, re, I remember when the detectives came to my house and they told us that, you know, that, that the body that they found was indeed my mother's. And I just remember going out in my grandmother's patio and just crying and asking him why, why he would do this to me and my family. And, you know, it, it was those dark hours where he kind of, at that time, I didn't realize it, but he had just made things, certain events in my life just happen. And when they happened, I, I, I didn't realize it, but as I've gotten older and I was able to take a step back and really look at what he's done, you know, like I said, with my husband and my children and my family and, and the growth of everything, he's just really blessed wow. my family. And, um, you know, as much as she is missed and, you know, I know she's with me and she's with him and everything happens wow. for a reason. And I... <laughs> Christy, actually, she used to be my babysitter when I was younger, and I haven't seen her in many years, and she's here today. So, wow. I, just, 
she knew my mom, and hmm. I just, yeah, I just, wow. there's an example. Well, based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, you remember how on stage I said if there's anybody else that spontaneously wants to get baptized that we would take care of them with towels and a change of clothes? We got a couple, which is awesome. It's incredible. So would you like to share your name, where you're from? I'm Carla, and I'm from Bay City. Carla. Mm -hmm. So tell us your journey. My journey's been long and dark. I lost my parents. Um, I got into a drug addiction after my mom um, uh, passed away. I, w I went through a lot. And I uh, just lost a brother and a stepdad in November, and I just lost my brother, my real brother, like um, two weeks ago. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, he beat cancer, but he couldn't beat the infection. So, so Carla, what brought you to church today? Like, how did you end up here? Um, I needed to come, but I've been—I mean, I've come a few times, and this is my daughter. Sarah is like a daughter to me. We've had her mm. since she was thirteen. Wow. So these are my grandkids behind me. So that's incredible. And and what what role has God? made in your life following Christ what does that how's that helped you through this that's the only thing that's helped me through it wow. obviously um, I wouldn't be here today without God wow well Carl I'll have you step up here and you're going to cross your arms over your chest the good news of the gospel is that death doesn't get the final word amen and because of Christ we have this hope like an anchor. And so, Carla, based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Congratulations. How are you doing? Good. Can you share your name, where you're from? I'm Navaya, and I am from Bay City. Navaya. That's an amazing name. I like that. Thank you. Her, aunt it out. Her, your aunt picked it out. Is there a meaning behind your name? I'm just curious. I don't know. No? Okay, it's just a cool name. Navaya. And Navaya, um, can you share just a little bit of your journey? Um, before God came into my life, I was going through a lot. And ever since he's came into my life, I feel like I'm a more positive person. And how did you end up at Life Church? I'm just curious. Um, I found out my aunt was going here, and I spent the night at her house one day, and we just came the next morning, and I just loved it ever since. So basically, if you want someone to come to church, you, ha you host a sleepover <laughs> on Saturday, and you say, we're going to church. <laughs> and and Navai, can you just tell us what difference has Christ made? I mean, what is wh what difference has that made in your, your, your attitude or in, in how you see things? or? Um. I just feel more positive about everything, and I don't, like, second-guess everything. I just go you know, with my first in instinct. You trust God. That's awesome. Well, I'll invite you to step right here and cross your arms. And, Navaya, based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Congratulations. Last but not least, you want to share your name and where you're from? Hi, I'm Liliana, and I'm from Bay City. Liliana, <laughs> Liliana, how did you, how did you, end up here today? Can you kind of walk me a little bit through your journey? Well, when before I was an only child, and um, me and my dad did a lot of prayers. Um, saying that we hoped that our family would get bigger and I would have some siblings and uh, God read my prayers and um, I have three sisters. Wow. Wait, no, they... what? Yeah. Two sisters and one brother. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they're right over here, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, my two sisters and then my brother. That's amazing. That's a, you want to know something? So my family's not here today. They're at the Saginaw campus, but my family looks just like your family. I think that's pretty cool. 
Wow. And and why why do you want to get baptized? Um, just because like I've been wanting to get baptized really like I've been wanting to get baptized for a really long time and God has been with me um a lot of my life. That's amazing. Well let's step right over here. You can cross your arms. There you go. You can smile for the camera. There's dad right there. Well, based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.